Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Henry Wagner and William Shenman. This beautiful correspondence game was played in 1919. Wagner had white pieces and he started with d4. Shenman played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit. And now e5, Albin Count Gambit. D takes on e5, d4, the standard move. Knight to f3, defending and attacking. Knight to c6, knight from b to d2, black to move. f6 was played. Bishop to g4, bishop to e6, and knight from g to e7 are the three most played moves. f6. Expecting pawn takes pawn and then knight takes on f6. Wagner played e6. Bishop takes on e6. a3. Preparing b4. a5. Mind reading. b3. f5. Bishop to b2. Bishop to c5. Queen to c2. Queen to e7. Intending to cast the queen side. g3. And Shen Men castled queen's side. Queen to d3. b4 should have been considered. Queen to d3 was played. Knight to h6. Bishop to g2. Knight to g4. Wagner castled king's side. It is black to move. This is now the critical position of the game. And black missed the best move. H5 was played. This looks like a very logical move. But the very best move was knight to e3, daring white to take on e3. But if pawn takes on e3, d takes on e3, and after queen to c3, e takes on d2. And black is better. So probably in this position, the best move for white would be rook from f to e1. Back to our game. H5, missing the chance. And now, b4, this move was waiting to be played. a takes on b4, perhaps bishop to a7 would be a better move. But we have a takes on b4, in this variation black is winning a pawn. a takes on b4, knight takes on b4. If bishop takes on b4, knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4. And now this is the key move. Rook to a8, check, and after king to d7, bishop takes on d4. And black is advised not to take the rook, because of bishop to c5, check, and white is winning the queen. Ok, back to our game. In the game we have knight takes on b4, attacking the queen, queen to b3, knight to c6, intending to meet rook to a8, check with knight to b8, queen to b5 creeping closer to black king. Bishop to b6. Bishop takes on d4. Bishop takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Rook takes on d4. If knight takes on d4, rook to a8, check with Matus. So we have rook takes on d4, attacking the knight on d2. What is the best square for the knight? Or perhaps White should defend the knight. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for white in this position. The best way to defend the knight is with the queen. Oops, a mouse slip. No, no, no. This is not a mouse slip. This is the move played in the game. What a move! What a surprise! This is check! King takes queen. If king to d7, queen takes on c6, check. And white is winning. So we have king takes on b7. Rook from f to b1, check. King to c8. Bishop takes on c6, the threat is rook to a8, check, mate. Queen to a3, clearing the path for the king. If king to d8, rook to b8, check, 
and king can go to e7. After perhaps bishop to c8, rook takes on c8 check, and after king takes on c8, rook to a8 check mate. Back to our game. So we have queen to a3. How would you continue now? Wagner played. Rook to b8 check. King takes rook. Rook takes on a3. And black resigned. Let's play a random move. Can you find a cute random move? Perhaps rook takes on d2. Then rook to a8. Check. Mate. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position when I ask you what is the best way to defend the knight. I should have asked a different question, shouldn't I? I should have asked you to pause and find a killer move, by the way, did you? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.